Folks, what's up? This is Michael in the wee hours of the night on the Graveyard Shift with your daily trivia question. Once again, and welcome to March. Just like that February, we finally put it away, and we have a brand new month, and it's Fat Tuesdays, too, so it's ready for Mardi Gras. Go down to Bourbon Street, have a drink on me. You can put it on my bill. It'll be all good. So the answer to the previous trivia question was none other than the Branch Davidian, or I got a lot of feedback about another acceptable answer called Mar Mount Carmel Center. And that whole compound there or area or location was known as both. So both answers were acceptable. So the Branch Davidians are known as what, what is known as a new religious movement or an alternate alternative spirituality founded fairly recently in 1955. The Davidians would eventually settle on a track of land in Waco, Texas, where they built a compound called the Mount Carmel Center. A lot of power struggles over the years would ensue, and residents of the Branch Davidian compound would devote themselves to either one leader or the other over time. There were multiple people that came along and uh, kind of bickered and battled and so forth. And one of these people in the 1980s was a man named Vernon Howell, who we all knew as David Koresh. Koresh would come to lead the group in a new style of teaching and a way of living, and in turn would attract a new group of various followers. So this activity under Koresh's leadership would eventually attract the attention of federal agents. So this is how this whole thing kind of started and came to be. Now they attempted a raid on the Branch Davidians on February 27th of 93, which was the focus of the trivia question. And this resulted in a standoff between the two groups that would last an incredible 51 days. And it played out on national and even international television. It was almost a spectacle to see how many news vans and reporters showed up for this. Unfortunately, the entire ordeal culminated in a secondary attempt by federal agents to enter and take over the compound on April 19th. And it was at this time that the main buildings of the Branch Davidians were set on fire, which spread rapidly and killed just about everyone inside. Very quickly, this, this uh, unfolded. So the aftermath of this was, was just a nightmare, as you can imagine. It involved criminal prosecution for the Davidian survivors and numerous other civil lawsuits against the government, uh, most of which, as I understand from my research, were thrown out. So as of 2007, all of those convicted, all of the, the Davidians that were convicted who survived and went to prison, they have all been released since that time. So today, there are more modern incarnations, if you will, of the Branch Davidians that exist in the Waco area, and some claim uh, different foundational beliefs as the others do. Some of them still hold on to David Koresh's foundational principles when he was leading the Davidians. I remember just from a personal perspective, I remember this very distinctly. I was in my junior year of college at the University of South Carolina. I was living in a dormitory on the 11th floor. I remember everything about it. And after the first three weeks to a month or so, it got down to we would wake up in the morning, we would turn the TV on, and we'd be like, okay, another day is going to go by where this siege is just going to be never ending. And we all had the weird kind of feeling that it was going to come to a disastrous close. And I remember the morning that it did, we all gathered in the basement of our dormitory and watched it unfold right on live TV. There's plenty of footage of this whole thing from start to finish as the compound caught on fire and the agents tried to take over the compound. You can dig all of it up on YouTube as well as a bunch of conspiracy theory documentaries and so forth that have been done on it. So that is kind of the Branch Davidian and Mount Carmel Center uh, in a nutshell. All right, folks, let's get March started. Let's get Mardi Gras kicked off the right way with a brand new trivia question from March 1st on this day in 2018. Here's a recent one as published in the Journal of Archaeological Science. The earliest evidence of this form of pictorial and body modification was discovered on two naturally mummified bodies from a very early early Egyptian period and I don't think that Kat Von D had anything to do with it although she may have been around I don't know have a good day folks enjoy Mardi Gras peace out